Hello and welcome back to Ionic Apps for WooCommerce. In this video, I'm going to build a simple login form and that way you learn how to create simple forms using Ionic. So a typical form will have a username field and a password field and the user will enter those fields and will click on the login button. Okay, so we will define two input elements, one of type text and another of type password. And also we will define a button that will have the text login on it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, I'll create a form tag. I'll also close the tag right away. And the first thing I'll do inside my form is create a list. So I'll add a div with a class of list. I'll close the div. And inside this div, the first element I'll have is a label. This will have a class of item and item input. Okay. I'll close the label as well. Inside this label, I'll have a span tag with a class of input label and here I'll define the actual label. So my label will be username. I'll close the span tag right away and below that I'll define the input element which will be of type text and we can also define placeholder text if we want and I'll close the input element. Okay, let's save it and see how it looks like. So you can see that I have a form field and I have a username label on the left and on the right I can just type in anything I want. Okay. Similarly we can define for password. So I'll just copy this and paste it and instead of the username label I'll have the label as password. Okay. And the type will be password. I'll save it. And now I can type in the password here. Okay. You can just remove the placeholder if you want. You can do it however you like. And lastly, I'll add another item. So I'll add a label with a class of item again. And inside this label, I'll define a button with a class of button, button block and button positive. So this will give me a full width blue button and the button will have the text login on it and I'll close the button. Okay, let's save it and have a look at how it looks. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. We have the login username field here, the login password field and then we can just click on this button to login. There are a number of other things that you can do. So let me just show you how you can create other things. So let's just try to add a drop down somewhere. If the user has to select from a number of options, then we can just give them a drop down list. In HTML, we call it the select field. So how do we create that? So I'll just add another label and this will have a class of item, item input and item select. Let's just close the label tag. And inside this label tag, I'll define a span with a class of input label. Let's just type in select country. Let's just close the span also. And below that will give the number of options. So I'll just type in select here and I'll close the select tag as well. And inside this select tag, we can provide options. So the first option will be India. I'll just close the option as well. I'll provide another option, the USA. Okay, let's save that and have a look at how it looks. So you can see that I have select country right here and on the right, I have the option of selecting country. India is selected as default because this is the first option that we have put in here. Select USA by default by typing in selected. Save it. And now you can see that the default country as selected is the USA. Okay. We can also have checkboxes in our forms. All we have to do is type in ion checkbox and I'll just close it. And within checkbox, I'll just type in remember me and I'll save it. And just by this one line of code, I get a checkbox right here that I can check in or check off to indicate some input, which we can process later using AngularJS. So this is pretty much it. This is how we create basic forms in Ionic. 